We have a confidential book. Oh my gosh, it is so confidential. What, what, what do we, why can I not zoom in? There we go, okay. Finally figured it out, okay. <laughs> Yeah, very, very confidential. Doesn't look like there's anything on the cover for us to examine. Ah, here we go. Notes. Entry number 001. Reminder, buy new underwear. No, 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 let's not go to the laundromat. Let's just buy new underwear. That's way easier. Project Excelsior, thanks to our benefactors. Standing inside my lab, it's exactly like I hoped. The Zazer Spear. Zazer. Jenny recognized the name, but couldn't put her finger on where she'd heard it before. So this lab is his invention. He called it a Zazer Sphere. Well, at least I've got a name. Okay, so Mr. Zazer is working with Nigel. It's a geodesic structure. We'll be able to fully power Arthurton's greatest resource. These machines were built to study and harness the power of Arthurton's greatest resource. They were experimenting on the town itself. Side note, Zazer, Zazer, like laser, okay? Okay, so don't, don't mispronounce it. Don't mispronounce it. I hope the money doesn't dry up. The Council, Council of three. three, never heard of them. Sounds like he didn't know who they were either. But they paid for all of this? How mysterious. Okay, next page. Blank? Right, this page is blank. Ah, there we go. Okay, somebody ripped a page out. Another sphere operational. Every time we start an experiment, we discover a new property. Yes, this town is special. I don't like moving between laboratories. I'm tired of being like a manager person. That is a terrible pun. Ferris wheel. It says, oh, the irony, because Ferris is another name for iron. You might know Effie is the chemical symbol for, uh, for iron. So who are they? Are they avoiding me? Ask Mr. Gray for help with management. Nobody's met them. My calculations are correct. He designed a bigger sphere. Bigger than this? Did he ever build it? And if he did, where? Then why? Oh, more blank pages. How many? Yeah, okay, let's just check all these pages. Okay. Want a game of tic-tac-toe. Terrible setback. There was a badger on the door to get into this lab. So this must be the experiment he was talking about. But there was an explosion with plasma. Oh no. This is going to set us back weeks. Blurring together each experiment, the strange incidents keep growing, and somebody keeps stealing my pens. I don't know how. I don't know why. Setbacks. Setbacks. Exhaustion. Rushed schedule. Dangerous conditions. The parallels with her father's own working conditions were distressingly clear. What if her father wrote this? Yeah, what if her father was working with these experiments and that's how he died? Somebody followed him home last night. Who is this Council of Three? Order, progress, knowledge? Is it knowledge or ignorance? Progress or corruption? Order or self-destruction? All dead. All my fault. The words echoed across the metal walls. Ghosts of a past tragedy. What did he do? It must have been terrible. I am so naive, so naive, very, very naive, but it's too late. 385, that's, that's a lot. There are a lot of pages that got ripped out of this book. Not just one or two, like 385, come on, that's a ton of entries. And it looks like we're still missing a clue. Okay, this final page. Bittersweet feeling. After seven years, we're finally getting stable results, but the cost is great. The output ratio is incredible, but we're just beginning to unlock the potential. This could change the world. Our new lab's fully op nearly operational, but I'm not sure we are. They'll push it too far. Full output will take years. Maybe it's time we can make amends for what happened. 
Safety is the top priority. This entry is from much later. There are lots of pages missing. It seems that whatever happened before, he carried on his work long after. As is the case in all Tangled Mysteries, every new piece of evidence raised more questions than it answered. But she now knew the purpose of this Caesar Sphere, and the name of the people who had built it. The Council of Three. It wasn't much to go on, but it was a start. Hmm. It was a start. What's this? Another blank scrap of paper. Does it have a secret code on it? Nigel, please stop writing these codes down. Memorize it. Destroy it immediately. 1028. Alright, let's check this out. We really should. I still wish. Please enter authorization code to begin. 1028. Code accepted. I wish she would get her cousin Susie involved with this because her cousin Susie would understand what's happening and would actually explain what's going on instead of leaving this as a mystery. System authorized and armed for activation. Cool. Let's see what this one does. Uh, the previous one just lifted rocks into the air. Why? Let's see what this one does. Preparing to run experiment 12, cycle 78. Sphere hermetically sealed. Magnetic transducer coils charging. Accumulating voltaic cells. Commencing experiment 12 91. Can we get it to run other experiments, maybe? Not just that one? Just suggesting the possibility. Maybe we can, maybe we can. upwards it moves a ladder that's what it does all that for moving a ladder procedure 12 completed successfully decompressing spherical chamber remember a healthy employee is an effective employee please leave the station for your mandatory 15 minute smoking break yeah yeah See how confusing that is? It just moves the arms of the statue. I wonder so we what already it did. knew how to do At that. At least it wasn't covered in plasma. We already knew how to do it. You just pull the swords. It's actually quite easy to do. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, I'm, I'll just rush over to that one ladder and open it up. I, I mean, climb up it. Maybe get back to what I was doing uh, before I got distracted by this weird sphere. Yeah. That might explain that huge crack there. Oh, is this different? Is this, like, all lit up now? Is that... Uh, a big Jimmy, difference. Did you find the entrance? Not yet. Jenny was hesitant to share her discovery. Do it, 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 do it. Woo! Where did you really get the parts to build your machines? What? I told you, there's a warehouse full of them at my father's factory. And that's the only place you've seen equipment like that? Well, yeah. Where else would I have seen it? I'm gonna trust her. Can I ask about Zazer, though, as well? Did the Glass Corporation ever build underground labs? No, I don't think so. Why would they? To hide them? From who? Good question. I, I have to go. Keep out of sight and let me know if you see anyone. I will. Good luck, Jenny. Great, we learned nothing from that conversation. Great, I wish I wish we could have asked about Zazer. You know, asked about all the things, not just the one thing. Because I, I, I mean, 
I was expecting Jenny to ask, hey, do you know what these parts are, or what do they do? Instead, she just asks, hey, what about the parts you have in your lab? Which is a totally separate question. That's not the question I was expecting. I was expecting her to ask about the parts she just saw in the sphere. Okay, I don't need any angry mumbling here, but we definitely have a sticker here. Postcard scrap. Never mind, not a sticker. Okay, let's go to the right. Is this the Beyond fallen, the fallen angel? angel? This is it. The entrance must be through here. Nice, nice. Okay, we reached the end of this area. Let's check out the uh, next part of this area. Another coded message in another hidden laboratory. A secret tunnel under the graveyard. How long had these things been in Arthurton? Who was responsible for them? And how was all this connected to the Dean's murder? I have no idea. It's quite a mystery. Oh. Through the crumbling arches. Yeah. Past the wooden gates. This must be it! Now all I have to do is find the biggest cross. Yep, and then we'll break in and save Mom. There are a ton of crosses. Which one is larger than the others? Oh, come on. There's a million crosses in there. Jenny, where are you? It's getting really creepy out here. I'm in the old part of the graveyard. Oh, no. Every kid in Arthurton knew the graveyard was haunted. The ghosts of early settlers walked among the tombstones late at night, waiting to avenge their tragic deaths in the mines. A few months ago, Peggy and Veronica went up there after curfew with some boys. Then they were attacked by a ghost! They were probably hallucinating from all the hairspray. They swore to me, Jenny. They wouldn't lie. I don't believe in ghosts. And the tall tales of a bunch of airheads won't change my mind. Even so, Jenny's skin crawled with goosebumps. Uh... It might have been her imagination, but the night suddenly seemed a lot darker. Maybe I'll uh, use Mom's flashlight. You know, j just in case. Okay. Ah, oh, you can move your flashlight up and down. Uh, that's useful, I suppose. Doesn't look like she can examine any of these crosses. Okay, climb up here. What's up in this tree? Nothing. What's up with this crow that's not moving? I'll just ignore it. Uh, run. Oh, jeez. My flashlight went out. Not now. Not now. No. It's dead. Unable to see more than a few inches ahead, our trembling adventurer had no choice but to edge forward very slowly. Something creepy's going to happen. I just know it. She can't run. All she can do is... Oh, great! Find the light over here. What is that? It's coming from the open grave. That's an open grave? It just looks green. Hey, it's a person! <laughs> Matt! Who's Matt? Wait. You're not a ghost. Oh, oh, you scared the life out of me. Sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't realize anyone else was here. Ah, that's okay. This place is terrifying in the dark. I really need to stop working nights. What are you doing out here after curfew? Hmm. I don't know if I can trust this guy. 
master of disguise. Yeah, I'll pretend to be someone else. I'm a city appointed grave inspector, and I'm here to inspect this grave. Is it Tuesday already? Goodness me, where are my manners? Hop right in and have a look around. Um, no, that's okay. okay. I can uh, see it fine from here. You're the LeClue girl, aren't you? Ah, oh, darn, he figured uh, it out. Well, your poor old man. What a horrible way to die. Yeah, I don't really like to talk about it. Blown into a thousand pieces. Oh, jeez. What a way to go. Is that how it no happens? No chance to say goodbye. Boom, gone. Just like that. An absolute tragedy. And the pain. Can you imagine? Nothing left of him. Well, no, Probably I mean, it, it happened very hole. quickly, well, so it, it right wasn't now. very, very painful. Yes, ma'am. Regulation think. size, I... six feet, not an inch less. The name's Matt. The second T is silent. I okay, see. Matt, I'm going to need to ask you some questions for my report. Just the usual red tape, you understand. Oh, sure. Fire away. He seems harmless enough. I just need to be sure he's not working for the man in black. Yeah... Well, I mean, I'm sorry, but he knows who I am. I don't like that. He knows who Jenny is. Yeah, but he thinks she's an inspector, so maybe her Master of Disguise plan works? I'm not entirely sure. Okay, so clearly in this next video we'll be inspecting this guy. I wonder what clues we'll find out. Um, something to prove he's just... He's just an ordinary nice guy who, who doesn't have any problems whatsoever and is not a secret spy or anything like that. <laughs> yeah, why would I do that?